Welcome to Mule Example 6, Transforming Data in a Flow. This example shows how to use a custom transformer. In this case, a simple transformer is used in a flow to alter information received in an HTTP request before passing the information to a custom component. In this video, you'll learn how to create a custom transformer mule, how to implement a custom transformer, and how to configure the transformer in the flow. This example builds on the projects completed in the filtering invalid requests example. First step is to go on to the, the previous project and run it. Switch to a web browser and confirm that it returns the hello question mark name equals raw string, showing that the flow is functioning as designed. If you've followed the examples thus far, I'm sure the slash in front of the name has bugged you. Now it's time to get rid of it. To do this, we'll build a simple custom transformer to perform a string operation on the payload. Later examples will show a more intricate way of dealing with the key value pair in the request. Back in Studio, create a new class in the org.mulesoft.example.hello package. In the new class dialog box, name the transformer name transformer. And in the superclass field, make the class extend org.mule.transformer.abstractTransformer. The superclass is important because it contains all the useful code that Mule needs to interact with the transformer, while we only have to implement one transform method, the doTransform method. The code here implements some simple logic to detect a string that begins with a slash and remove the slash. If the transformer is called on a non-string object or the string doesn't have the slash, it returns the original payload. The doTransform method, as specified by the superclass, takes an object and returns an object. This is why the cast to string has to happen within the method. As you can imagine, type checking and potential type-based filtering can be important in Mule to correctly handle all situations. Save and close the transformer. So now your flow should look roughly like this. It could also have a filter or a logger within it, depending on the example you left off on. These are fine to leave in since they won't affect the functioning of this transformer. From the transformer drawer, drag a custom transformer onto the flow between the HTTP endpoint and the hello component. Double click the transformer box to open the di properties dialog box. Enter a name for the transformer, and in the transformer class box, go to browse and start typing name transformer. Your custom transformer should pop to the top of the list. Click OK. Save and run the flow. If you never stop the flow that was run in the beginning, you'll find that the new version of the flow has hot deployed and the application updated for you automatically. Now open the browser. Hit refresh. And notice how now there is no more slash in front of the name. So, in this example, you created a custom Java transformer. The HTTP request was processed by the transformer before being passed to the Hello component, and the result is returned to your browser. Thank you for watching, and thank you for using Mule.